I'm back again. Uh, today we're going to be working on installing the actual screen. Uh, so I did some stuff off camera. I'll put those pictures up here. So I got all the external hardware mounted to the back of the case. Got the screen back inside. The original monitor shell. Everything still works. Fired up nicely. As I was moving the monitor to go to the test fit. Disaster. Massive crack. Um, so we're going to go ahead and stick the screen in. Uh, we've already come this far. There's no point in stopping now uh, trying to find a new screen. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the screen in with the crack in it. The screen is still usable, it just has a big black gash through like you can see. So it sucks, but it took me long enough to find this screen and long enough to find the right hardware for it. We're going to get the screen in there, even if it's just a temporary measure until we can replace it again. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to pull the main frame back apart, get the screen mounted, figure out how we're mounting the screen and do that. So yeah, let's get started. some of this tack in the front corners here. Smush it in. Pray the frame doesn't destroy itself anymore. And then we're going to turn it on. Giant crack. I can see it so clearly. That's the other reason we're using this tack instead of like gluing it in. 
because we're going to have to take it out eventually. Alright, blue tech stuff. This is a Loctite, by the way. It's a, um, I have no idea what the exact item this is, but I remember it's Loctite brand. And I got it at, like, either Target or Walmart. Same thing over here, and it's gonna crack over here too, because it's broken over here too. And mainly, the pressure of this frame itself is what's gonna be holding the screen in. Okay, we need to remount this back piece too, because I forgot we just left this dangling. So, this guy, I guess we're just gonna remount up here somewhere, and we'll come back to it. Pushing where my duct tape was, so we duct tape this little sucker in. Okay. Uh, so let's see if it even still works. Biggest concern I have right now. I'm gonna tape that down to. I don't like how much that's moving. Considering how beautifully done we did that. If you haven't seen the cable cable part, watch last week's video over here. fingers. Oh. Are all the fans spinning? Yes. Okay, so we have a signal. It's not right, but we have a signal at least. I'll need to work on this cable. So what's happening here is the ribbon cable is sliding out of that adapter. God, it's so bad. It looks worse than it did the other day. So what happened, the um, ribbon cable had slightly started pulling back out earlier. So we pushed that back in and in doing so, some of the pins had protruded slightly. So when we were arranging it to get it back in just now, the uh, pins came apart just enough that they needed a little bit of push. So I went back and pushed the ribbon cable back in all the way, pushed all the pins back in the other way from the other side, and we have a good picture now. Well, a good picture. So, screen's in. I'm gonna uh, throw the shell back on. Yeah. So one thing I do like about this LED, this controller, is that it does actually shut down uh, when the PC shuts down. It's got a very low timeout on the, the wait for signal, so that's nice. still busted but it's okay. I'm a little sad you can't see the you can't see the RGB from the from this side at all. Whew there's hot today. Let's go there for now. Got a lot more coming. I uh, still have to do the USB extensions on this guy uh, and then figure out how to actually make all these seams close up. 
because it's going to drive me freaking crazy. But we have a functional system, screen is installed, so at least I can get the monitor off my desk and free up a little more space. Uh, I'm definitely going to be tidying up in here pretty soon. Um, uh, we also have a few things coming up. Uh, we're going to be finishing the Game Boy probably this week, maybe next week. Uh, also, got a couple of known dead Game Cubes. We're going to see if we can figure out what's wrong with them, what exactly needs, what needs to be done. Um, see if we can do our parts and that stuff. So, lots of cool stuff coming up. Um, so stick around, hit subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.